Welcome to in 5 minutes, we take problem on columns and struts and we consider hollow cylindrical columns. Our problem statement is, find the Euler's crushing load for a hollow cylindrical cast iron column, 200 mm external diameter and 25 mm thick, if it is 6 meter long and hinged at both ends. Take E equal to 1.2 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per mm square, compare the load with the crushing load given by Rankine's formula taking Fc equal to 550 Newton per mm square and Rankine's constant A equal to 1 by 1600. So in this problem, we have been given a hollow cylindrical column and we need to first find out the Euler's crushing load and then compare it with the Rankine's crushing load. So our given data is, first thing we have cast iron hollow cylindrical column. The external diameter capital D is given as 200 mm and the thickness T is given as 25 mm. The length of column is given as 6 meter which is equal to 6000 mm and the end condition is given as both ends hinged meaning that your equivalent length LE is equal to L. Also E is given as 1.2 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per mm square your FC which is nothing but ultimate crushing stress sigma UC is 550 Newton per mm square and a Rankine's constant A is equal to 1 by 1600 and in this problem we have been asked to find first the Euler's crushing load or crippling load TE then second we also need to compare this load with the Rankine crippling load PR so comparison will be made when we know this PR and we take the ratio of either P by PR or PR by PE so we start with the solution first we determine the internal diameter of the hollow cylindrical column small d is given as capital D minus 2 times of thickness so upon substituting the values we get small d is equal to 200 minus 2 times of thickness which is 25 mm so d is equal to 150 mm now we know Euler's crippling load PE is given as pi square EI upon LE square so upon writing the formula of I which is moment of inertia of the hollow cylindrical column and LE we get this is equal to pi square into EI which is pi by 64 into capital D to the power 4 minus small d to the power 4 the whole upon the LE4 column with both ends fixed is given as L so we have L square so now upon substituting the values we get pi square into 1.2 into 10 to the power 5 into pi by 64 into 200 to the power 4 minus 150 to the power 4 the whole upon 6000 square so upon solving this we get the value of PE as 1.766 into 10 to the power 6 Newton this is equal to 1.767 mega Newton so this is our first answer Euler's crippling load or crushing load